Well, time some from politics, for some politics now. Voters in four states further solidified a rematch between President Biden and former President Donald Trump in yesterday's presidential primaries. Trump and Biden swept both Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, and Wisconsin for their respective races, adding their delegate counts for the party conventions this summer. The battleground state of Wisconsin is already shaping up to be an intense race. Some voters there say that they're not on board with Trump or Biden. Torian Small is in Wisconsin with a recap on all the action. Torian, good morning. Yeah, good morning, and marie So no major surprises here. Like you said, both Biden and Trump were able to overwhelmingly win their respective contests. But the major takeaway from this is that they're still struggling to get significant portions of their party to coalesce around uh, their uh, run. Uh, as we saw on Donald, for Donald Trump, uh, it's the moderate side that's not really interested in backing him. 76,000 votes went to Nikki Haley, despite the fact that she uh, suspended her campaign after Super Tuesday. And then for Joe Biden, it's the uninstructed vote. This is the protest vote around his handling of the Israel-Hamas war. 40, more than 40,000 votes there. They were aiming for 20,000. Uh, so uh, they still have struggles uh, with getting uh, their base on board with their campaigns. Now, we saw Donald Trump in Wisconsin yesterday. And whereas Joe Biden is focused on making abortion rights the center of this race, Joe, uh, the former President Donald Trump is looking to make immigration a big talking point. Listen to what he had to say at his rally. A new category of crime. It's called migrant crime. It was brought to you by the worst president in the history of our country, Joe Biden, sometimes referred to as crooked Joe Biden. He's crooked as a $3 bill. They're sending prisoners, murderers, drug dealers, mental patients, terrorists, the worst of every country is coming into our country now. This is something new for uh, former President Trump on the campaign trail. He introduced a visual aid he had across the screens, a uh, graph showing the surge in illegal border crossings since Biden took office. Uh, and he's also been tethering uh, what he's calling that migrant crime to Joe Biden. He invoked Ruby Garcia, a Michigan woman who was killed, police say, by her uh, significant other who happened to be a migrant, was previously deported from the U.S. Uh, he's blaming that directly on Joe Biden. Biden, hoping that that will resonate with voters. As we know, Republicans, that's a, a, a key issue for them uh, in this 2024 election. All right, Torian, thank you.